o'clock in the MSI 7970 overclocked edition. Um, the previous video shows you how to unlock your MSI afterburner. So make sure you uh, make sure you watch that and know how to unlock it. Okay, uh, okay. So currently, the core clock, the default overclocked factory overclocked, is 1010 and 1375. We're gonna leave the 1375 alone until we get a stable core clock. Um, from past experience, I I, I pushed the non-overclocked version to 1200 already. So um, we're gonna start right off there. So if if it can't even hit 1200, then it's a uh, it's a complete fail. Um, so we're gonna do 1200 at stock settings, uh, 1175. That's the uh, voltage that I use um, for the non overclock version so we're going to be fair and do that uh, let's go ahead and set the fan to 60% uh, okay hit save save it click apply and on your I don't know if you can hear but the fan just rev up really so it should be 1200 and 1375 and if it can't even hit 1200 then this card is a bust. Do not buy this card. Just buy the non overclocked because I was able to get the non overclocked to 1200. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be watching the temps and stuff too. So watch. Go ahead and watch the temps. Actually, I'm gonna yeah, just watch the temps. Um, I like to use Unigen Heaven to test out uh, you know the uh, the overclock uh, overclock ability first before I run like 3D Mark and all that because it's the it's the fastest to run. Uh, make the make to make sure everything is uh, is set to default except uh, tessellation. Set it that to normal, and everything else just leave default. This is Unigine 3.0, basic edition. Um, so yeah, everything is here. Oh, and another quick tip is if you right-click your uh, GPU Z, you can go to read your ASICs. Apparently, the higher the number, the better uh, you're able to overclock. Um, so low A6, high A6, so default voltage is lower, yada yada yada. So the higher it is, the better um, your card. So this is a 77.9%, so let's see how well it does. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back with the result. Okay, so Unigine just got done uh, running. I actually went and take a shower, took a shower. Um, and at 1200 cores and 1375 memory, it got an average of 97 FPS um, score to, uh, 2444 and now we're just gonna keep increasing the uh, the core clock by 25 you could, you're supposed to do it by 5 but it takes way too long so let's say if I get to 25 and it crashes so now I know um, that's like the cap or the limit and now I decrease by 5 every time so let's try uh, 1225 and see what's up um, also, please note the temperature was uh, 72 Celsius um, at that clock speed at uh, 1175 uh, uh, millivolts as well. So that's 1.175 volts, as you can see here. Um, yeah, so let's uh, sort of test and see what's the difference between 25 core clock and. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, the card crashed at uh, 1225 at uh, what do you call it? 1175 millivolts. It crashed. So, comparing to the non-overclocked edition, you will save fifty dollars. Do not spend more. Do not spend fifty dollars more on the overclocked version because you can just manually overclock it yourself and get roughly the same results um, from the overclocked uh, you know, settings. Um, I'm going to find the... No, I don't have it. It's on another computer. But, yeah, it's... Uh, don't buy the overclocked edition ever unless it adds more like VRAM or better cooling. I know the MSI Lightning have better cooling, so buy those. And they look better. Um, but otherwise, now I'm just gonna run a 3D Mark Vantage and 3D Mark uh, 11 at 1200. Um, actually, I'm gonna run another test on Unigen, this time increasing the memory clock as well. Um, I'm gonna do 1600 memory clock. 
Okay, so as you can see, the screen, this one is the uh, the, the one with the 1600 MHz memory. Uh, keep in mind that the voltages between the memory and vCore are separate. Um, you change them both here. Um, they're both at stock at the moment, so 1600, so 1 1.5 volts for the memory, and uh, 1.175 for, <coughs> for the core voltage. So they are separate. Um, by increasing the memory, you can see that it increases uh, average FPS roughly three uh, FPS. So that's like, extremely well. I'm gonna keep increasing the, the memory and see, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Um, okay. okay. So I tried to overclock it to uh, 1700 megahertz uh, mem clock, and it failed. It crashed about. Three fourth ways in, and it just yeah, it was horrible. Um, yeah, comparing that to the non overclock edition, definitely get the non overclock. You could get the same, potentially at the same speed, or a max overclock as the overclocked edition. Um, yeah, I think it's just uh, a, pretty much a scam for the overclocked edition. Oh hey, a little bit faster, but it's whatever. If it's you know again, if you only get like the twin frozen edition of uh, Lightning, which has you know better cooling. Um, so I ran a stock settings. I had stock settings. It got, you know, 85 frames per second on average. Uh, comparing to um, the 1200 by 1600, it was, you know, around like a 15 FPS average increase, um, increase in scores as well. Uh, so I definitely, definitely would recommend overclocking. If it's stable enough, just find that sweet spot. Uh, if it's stable enough, just run it games when you overclock it and, you know, run it at normal when you're just browsing or whatever. Uh, don't need that power. Your enemy here is again heat. Um, running that reference, you know, uh, cooler design it's gonna be burning out so make sure you get an aftermarket heat sink. I'll be putting up a video on how to install an aftermarket heat sink on these video cards as well. Okay, so at stock settings, the max temp was 67 Celsius, comparing to the 72 that we saw. So only 5% Celsius increase, which is isn't much, but it's still an increase and still you know your enemy. Um, so make sure you get an aftermarket heatsink. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just gonna run um, 3D Mark Vantage at uh, maxed out uh, settings, which is 1200 by. 1600 and also 3D Mark 11 and see what the scores are. Um, I'll run it at stock settings and then I'm gonna run it at uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, overclocked. And so you guys can compare that later on. Okay. Okay, so the tests are finished for for overclocked and stock settings. Over to the left is the over overclocked. Um, settings and you can clearly see the difference is about 4,000 score difference um, and also 5,000 in the GPU score uh, as far as FPS goes you see for the first test you see a, about what's that, 15 FPS increase so that's significant um, boost for just overclocking you know squeezing everything out um, second test you see about again 15 so it's very consistent, um, and the rest we can definitely see increases at, as well. Um, as far as this one goes, one one fifty to one thirty five, yeah, it's pretty significant um, for a stable overclock. Okay, next up we have um, let's do the performance overclock and stock settings. So you can see about a 1200 score increase um, over the stock settings as far as FPS goes. 6 FPS yeah about 6-7 FPS overall um, 8 over here increase in, of 8 um, so we could clearly see an increase and you know at the same time if your overclock is stable um, and if you don't mind uh, using a little bit more heat because um, remember when you're overclocking your core clock it's the power
power that you're using it's linear so it's not but when you increase the voltages it's going to be exponential the more voltage you use the more exponentially power um, you, you're going to use but if you're just going to increase a core clock it's linear so you are spending more money whoa this is text uh, more money to uh, to you know to, to have more frames so it's it's not that much but still uh, just want to keep that in mind and also you remember your enemy here is heat let's move on to the extreme oval clock on the right I'm sorry left and then um, sock settings on the right uh, so you can see a 400x difference see increase in 2 FPS 3 ish uh, the extreme testing is uh, 1080p it's the most stressful test right now as far as uh, 3D mark goes but yeah that's um, that's pretty much it and uh, to finalize this I would not recommend buying um, any overclocked uh, what do you call it any overclocked uh, edition of, of this card just buy the normal one you'll get the same um, overclock potential my ASUS if I could find the the screenshot um, I was able to you know get uh, what was it 1250 core and 1700 memory um, and I got it for $50 less so you should buy the non overclocked version uh, don't buy the overclocked um, yeah, as always, if you like uh, our videos, please like, so, um, like, like, favorite, and comment our video, and also subscribe to our channel, and also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and have a nice day.